Hey, hey, it's Bobby from Decoding again, and this is the ninth video in the building and launching a real Django website series. Now, if you've been following along, you will know by now that what we're trying to do is build a website from a blank canvas all the way to the point where it's online for the world to see, and it'll have all the bells and whistles. So we'll have um, a user account, we'll be able to buy products, so we'll have e-commerce on there. It'll be a real fancy pants website, but we're going through every single step from blank canvas to that point. I don't know what that point will be yet because we're gonna keep on adding and adding and adding until this website is just fantastic. So, this is video nine. The link to video eight is just up here. And what we've got to this point is a website that works on development and if we launch it on production, users will be met with a coming soon page because we've implemented the Django maintenance mode um, package uh, which you can uh, toggle on and off as a super user. So that's where we've got to. But before we put it all onto a server, there's a couple of other things that I want to do. And the first thing is what we're going to look at in this video, which is sitemaps. If you don't know what a sitemap is, it's an XML file that sits on your website that helps search engines understand the makeup of your site. So it understands what uh, pages do what and how often they're updated and so on and so forth. The idea being is that when somebody taps in the keywords that you've put into your website, your web page will appear higher in the search than your competitors. This is all about SEO, search engine optimization. Now, SEO is a science. This is just one little part of it, but it's, it's a big thing that you need on your website. If you haven't got it, then you're already starting on a back foot. So that's what we're gonna do today. So let's jump straight into it and have a look how to do it. So if you look at my screen now, I've got it already open on Django's docs. So we're gonna follow this and we're gonna build a sitemap for our static pages and get that all up and running. Let's crack on. So these are the docs and if you scroll down, it tells you what to do to install the, um, the appropriate packages. So if I open up Sublime Text, this is not the project. Let me open the project quickly. Open folder and what do we call? We call this did demo. Marvelous, let's drag that across. Right. Okay, this is the uh, directory that we've been working on, and this is Sublime Text, it's the text editor that I've been using. And what we need to do, we need to open up the main directory and settings.py. And we need to go to installed apps. So if we go back to the docs quickly you'll see that it says to add django.contrib.sitemaps to the installed apps. So let's just copy that straight from the page here. Copy, and we'll add that. We will add that to, we'll just stick it there. It doesn't really matter, I don't think. Does it ask us for anything else? Make sure templates, uh, your template settings contain Django templates backend. App does it's true. This is by default. So we haven't made any changes so far to the backend or settings.py file, especially the templates, other than we've added templates in there. So we're telling uh, Django where to look when we're handling error pages. Um, but other than that, uh, we need, so make sure you've installed the sites framework. So let's see what that's all about. Click on that page, um, site ID. And how do we install sites? Does it actually say, it probably doesn't say on here, but what we've got to do is we've got to install sites into our settings.py file. And we do that by using, it's a very similar command actually. Just django.contrib.sites. There we have it, so we'll save that. Go back into docs. Now, the sitemap, sitemap application doesn't install any database tables. The only reason it needs to go to installed apps is so that the loader templates, loader can find the default templates. Right, okay, so when we're using the site package, what we need in the, in the settings file, we need a variable called site ID. So we'll add that quickly into settings.py. We'll just have it underneath installed apps. It doesn't really matter where you put it. Equals one. There we have it. And then what we want to do is, 
The docs will actually tell you that at this point we need to add uh, a URL into our URL comp file, uh, but we'll come back to that because it's referring to sitemaps in this uh, dictionary here. Uh, sitemaps, the sitemaps dictionary, which will be in a URL conf, will refer to the static sitemap file, sorry, the class that's in the file that we're now going to build. So we won't jump to that stage yet. What we'll do, we'll go into our project and in the main directory, because this, this sitemap file needs to sit in main because it's referencing the URLs in the main app. So we'll start a new file and we'll save this as come out of that directory into main and we'll save this as sitemaps.py. Great, and what we want to do, we want to from django.contrib import sitemaps. And we also want reverse from Django URLs. So from Django.URLs import reverse. See if I can do this without typo. I probably already have contrib. No, there we go. Right, so we need to define a class, and this class will be static view sitemaps. So class <laughs> static views sitemap. And we call it, uh, we use the sitemaps package that we've just imported from contrib, and it's sitemap. So that's what we're using to do this. Right, so what we want in here is a couple of variables, one of them called priority and the other one called uh, change frequency. So this is the, to prioritize the, um, the URLs and also how often these URLs are bound to be changed. This is all helpful search engines. So priority equals, this is 0.5. And then we've got change frec equals, and this will be changed daily probably a bit overkill but now we need two functions in here one of them is called items and one of them is called location now this is all in the docs by the way so def items and we want to bring in self and then we want to return a dictionary of all of the urls that uh, we want into our xml so it'll be home it'll be about it'll be media and it'll be contact so we want uh, return and this is a list and we'll have this as main home main about main what was it it was contact and also main media they are the four static URLs that we've built in this project so far that we want in the um, sitemap XML file. And we'll have def uh, location self. This is item. So I was playing around with this the other day and I kept on calling this items and it just didn't work. It must be item and return and we want reverse the item. And that's reversing this so as a main home. That will be from the main app home URL. So that's how it gets to the, um, that's how it configures what the URL is for the XML file. So that's it, static view sitemap. So let's save that and we'll copy static view sitemap. Okay, so now what we need to do is we need to go into the URL conf file. So open that. And we will need to import this, what we've just built. So from main dots sitemaps import we just bought uh, just built static view sitemap so we need to now create a dictionary called sitemaps and this is where we'll we'll add all of the sitemaps for the project at the minute it's just one but by the end of this we'll have two or three maybe Depends how many apps we add to it. So we want this as a sitemap. And we can change this at some point, but this is what we're going to call it. And we want to bring in the static view sitemap that we just built. 
okay we do also need to yes we do we also need to bring in a site maps um, there we go Django contrib we want the views from there but we won't write that out so so it's contrib dot sitemaps sitemaps dot views import sitemap okay so that's what we need to install. if we go back to the docs it probably tells us to do that there you go so from django contrib sitemaps dot views import sitemap and then we want this path to be added to our url conf so we'll go to the bottom here. We've already got the comma on the one above. That's uh, something that I like to forget. Actually, I'll keep that like that. It's easier to read. So we've got sitemap.xml. That will be the URL. Um, and then it's sitemap, which we're pulling from the, the views. So Django Contrib sitemaps views. And then it pulls in the uh, dictionary here. So sitemaps is the sitemaps dictionary and then the name is django contrib sitemaps view sitemap we can add is straight from docs okay i think is that it i think that is it um let's fire up a server so work on did demo python manage.py run server let's probably find out oh no we haven't got manage it there's another typo equals what have we got line so invalid syntax so of course we don't need the equals there Unapply it. We've got two unapplied migrations, so we don't necessarily need that. We might need it, but actually for for this, so we might as well. There we go. Now we want run server. Okay. Will this work? Will this work? So we'll go here and we'll run incognito so control shift n we'll go to local host we'll say home and if we go forward slash sitemap dot xml moment of truth it worked brilliant so it does say example.com that is because we've in we've added the uh, site package to the um, installed apps so when you add that, it creates or it gives you access to site in the back end. And when you register that, so when you go into the admin, do you know what? I'm babbling on. Let me show you. Let me show you. So if I go to admin and get my phone out with the uh, Google Authenticator app on it. Oh, I might be able to get in there in time. So it's bobby at didcoding.com. And it's 331945. Oh, just in time, it just switched. Okay, so we need, so you can't see the site um, model on here, sorry, the site map on here. So we will um, add that quickly. So we need to register site into our URL conf. Okay, so we need to bring in that import. So from django.contrib.sites is the package that we installed in installed apps and we want models and we want to import site and now we will be able to register site into our um, adjusted admin site if you remember we adjusted that to have one-time passwords so oh what was just done there site save See if that works. There we go. So now we've got access to sites. So if we go in there, the one that will be in there automatically is example.com. So in development, if we go in there, we'd want to change that to localhost, 
local host just for development purposes but in production that would be diddemo.com or diddemo.co.uk whatever the, the, um, the domain is that we get save now if we go back to sitemaps.xml I should now sitemap there we go so it now says http localhost 8000 that's our home page our index page then we have forward slash about forward contact forward media they're the four static urls that we've just added to our sitemap so that's how it works so great stuff we've got a sitemap now on our website we're really moving forward now at a cracking pace so this is the end of this video in the next video We'll probably upgrade our, our um, database from the straight out of the box SQLite database to Postgres. So we'll get that all configured in the next video. Thank you very much. Don't forget to subscribe and like. Catch you later. Bye bye.